Good morning, this is Dr. McDaniel at GYN Corner. I'm a board certified obstetrician gynecologist in New York City and I'm bringing to you all things health related for women. Thank you for joining me at the corner today. Uh, if you enjoy these presentations, please leave uh, comments questions. Let me know what you enjoy about uh, the presentations, what topics you'd like to hear more about. Hit the follow button and the like button on Facebook and do me a favor, check out the YouTube channel. It's also called GYN Corner and hit the subscribe button. Please leave questions and comments and if you enjoy podcasts, we have our podcast GYN Corner on eight different platforms and leave a review, Apple Podcasts, Apple iTunes about the GYN Corner. Let others know what you enjoy and encourage them to watch and to listen also. Thanks again for joining me and today is part two on breastfeeding, nursing. So the uh, yesterday's presentation, I spoke about how uh, it's a supply and demand issue with breastfeeding. So as soon as the baby's born, a lot of obstetricians or the nurses will place the baby on your breast if you tell them you're going to breastfeed and they'll nurse. But the babies will only suckle for maybe maybe a minute or so and then they'll usually fall asleep. Most of the time they'll just fall asleep hard work being born. So uh, what I encourage everyone to do, I have four children, I nursed all four of them. Uh, the baby, the fourth one, I nursed her for 13 months. That was a little overkill. Uh, I did that because we were going on a trip in for Christmas that year. I knew we were going on a trip for Christmas. She was born in May and I didn't want to have to pack formula and baby food and powder and all of that. So I said, I'm just going to nurse her past Christmas because then I know all I have to do is pack my breast and, and we're good. So uh, that was really a strategic ploy there. Uh, the others I nursed for less than six, six months. All of the pediatricians recommend the six month. Well, the first one I, I nursed for less than six months, the the second one close to six months and the third one around six months. So the pediatricians always recommend the six months to help with the uh, autoimmune uh, capabilities, the immune system support and decrease allergies and infections and the such. So if you can nurse for six months, that's the ideal. And yesterday I spoke about uh, a tip that I would recommend that I did and it worked really well is when you have the babies, as soon as they're delivered, put them on the breast if you can, and then ask for a breast pump so that you can pump regularly. That will encourage, that stimulates the brain and encourages the brain to produce milk more frequently than if you just nursed naturally, and you'll produce a lot more milk than if you just nursed naturally because the demand is higher when you pump. You can pump every 15, 20 minutes for two or three minutes each breast, and you'll really stimulate quite a bit of breast milk. Now, I know a lot of women don't do that, so the attrition or the drop-off rate for nursing is quite high. Um, sorry, I feel like I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I had a, a colleague who did not nurse very, she wanted to nurse, but she didn't suckle the baby very often. So she had very, very little breast milk that came in. The baby slept throughout the night and uh, her body just did not get into the habit of producing much breast milk. Another tip I gave, uh, what I did was I set my alarm clock because all of my children slept throughout the night also. So I set my alarm clock to go off every three hours throughout the night. So I'd get up three times a night, pretty much. Three times a night to to nurse. Uh, I just use the breast pump to pump the breast, each breast a couple of minutes, three times a night, so every three hours or so. And that worked really well for me uh, to continue stimulating a lot of breast milk. Uh, but there was a, um, I had a colleague who did not nurse much and she did not have much breast milk come in. She was fairly dry and she had to supplement with formula. But what uh, she was told by her obstetrician was to use milk thistle to take milk thistle and she reported that that worked really well for her. She did, she took the milk thistle and that helped stimulate more breast milk for her than uh, just trying to 
af you know you're after the eight ball once it hasn't you haven't produced much milk then the usual recommendation is just to keep trying to breastfeed the babies more and more frequently that works a lot of the time it doesn't work all of the time so increase the frequency of the uh, stimulation so pumping or feeding and uh, she was recommended to add the milk thistle and that worked really well for her uh, one tip I would recommend over the years I've had a lot of patients when I used to do deliveries call crying and frustrated and in a lot of pain trying to put the baby on seems like it should be easy right uh, mother nature or God never created us to use formula uh, everyone's supposed to be able to breastfeed and in a lot of what we call second and third world countries they breast it seems like they breastfeed with no problems but they breastfeed with no problems because they have a lot of older women to teach them and show them exactly how to breastfeed in modern day a lot of our mothers did not breastfeed they used formula and um, the teaching the hands-on teaching is not there so what I tell patients and it helps most of the time it's hard because I'm not there it's over the phone it used to be over the phone they'd call crying and frustrated they're worried the baby's not getting any food or nutrition because they're not able to nurse the baby's not latching on is you want to take your breast in your hand just whatever your dominant hand is and flatten the nipples like a sandwich so flatten it like a piece of bread uh, you flatten the nipples like a piece of bread so you have just a flat layer of nipple and then you cup what I did was cup the back of the baby's head so you position the baby you cup the back of the baby's head and then you want to take your your breast which is the nipple kind of a, a slice of bread the nipple sandwich slice of bread and then you take the bottom of the breast because it's flattened out you take the bottom and you push the baby's lower lip down you push the lower lip down so you basically push the lower lip down with your nipple and then you stuff you cram the nipple in the mouth and then with the back of your um, with your hand on the back of the head you push the head on top of or push it over on the nipple now the baby's mouth should cover pretty much well, it won't cover all of the colored part of the nipple or the areola but it'll cover at least about two-thirds of the areola so what you've done is you've pressed the lower lip down and by pressing the lower lip down you've pressed the gums down and then you kind of pop over the back of the head the mouth over and then you stuff the breast into the mouth and you do that all in one quick action so press stuff pop one quick action and that works really well uh, that worked with all four of my children the only child that was a little difficult was the second one she seemed to clamp her mouth down too quickly it's like as soon as she felt the nipple she would close her her teeth or her her gums obviously and she would end up hitting the clamping down on the breast too low and she caused a lot of pain and my nipples were bleeding so what I had to start doing was pressing really hard with the breast on her gums and then pressing really fast I just started trying to press really hard open her mouth a lot more and press the breast in really super fast just stuff it in to try and get her get the breast into her mouth before she clamped down she would clamp down really fast but eventually she caught on or eventually I figured out how to do it really quickly and it worked for all four the say I call that the sandwich technique so um, I hope that's helpful information some of the tips and tricks that I learned by having my four children and by counseling uh, a lot of women after they give birth when I used to do deliveries I don't deliver anymore I just do uh, first part of obstetrics initial part of the, the pregnancy and I see them after the baby's delivered uh, but to recap some of the tricks that I have were to ask request for a breast pump as soon as you deliver so that you can pump more frequently set a timer so that you wake up during the night even if the babies sleep throughout the night set a timer to either pump or try to put the baby on the breast if the baby will suckle 
Um, if you do all of that and you still don't have much milk, which I don't think will happen, but if that happens, or maybe you uh, fall short of doing of waking up at night, you can look into the milk thistle and then do the sandwich or the slice of bread technique to push the lower lip down, uh, cup the baby's head, and stuff the breast into the mouth, but pushing the baby onto the breast at the same time. So I hope that's helpful information so you can get to ideally the six months of breastfeeding and giving the babies as much uh, autoimmune and um, support with your immune system as possible. Thank you for joining me here at GYN Corner. Please hit the follow button, the like button, and the subscribe button. Check out the YouTube channel, GYN Corner, and listen to the podcast, please. Let others know what you enjoy and encourage your friends and family uh, to check out GYN Corner. Thanks again. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.